there've been a lot of people who took a hiatus from Pseudorite only to come back, log into their accounts, or log onto Discord and discover all health has essentially broken loose inside Pseudorite. It's confusing, especially whenever you bingo for a while. And I hate to say it, but y'all have actually only seen about half of it. So let's see if we can recap everything and make some sense of this for you. It all started back in June or July, I don't remember the exact month, when we started testing this little box that you see right here. And this was the chat feature that we started testing. Now, there were only a couple of classes where this was demonstrated. If you were lucky enough to be one of those to view it then, you know that it was down here at the bottom around Canvas, and you clicked into it, and a little box popped up. And this chat feature allowed you to communicate with ChatGPT about your story. So everything that was here in your story, it saw, and it could read and help you with. So it's not linked to Story Bible anymore, but essentially, it's not linked, so it's not going to do anything. It's just going to stay thinking. But this is what we could do. Ask it all kinds of questions, ask it uh, questions about our characters, plot points, whatever. Have it help us redo our outlines, things like that. So that started with our chat feature. Shortly after our chat feature started being tested, we started testing the Story Bible interface, which is what you see here now, the new look for Story Engine. So once we started testing this, loved it. They started working out all the little bugs as we found them. And then maybe a month after we started testing Story Bible Interface, we got plugins. So in just a matter of a couple of months, chat feature was being tested, Story Bible Interface, and plugins. Now, of course, not everybody saw this because ambassadors and teachers are the first ones that get to test things. So most people were only aware of the Story Bible plugins, and maybe not even Story Bible, because I've seen a number of people come back and say, hey, everything looks different. I don't know how to use this. So once the chat feature and plugins started being tested, Pseudorite really had to look at its pricing structure. Because as you can imagine, with the chat feature I showed you, and for anybody who's played with plugins, you know that these use a lot of words. They're going by your input output, all of that context window that the AIs use. If you are familiar with using things like Playground, you know how it works. So they really had to start thinking about their pricing structure because this was going to use a lot of words. Options were the simple one, just raise the prices, right? Well, that's not fair to people who aren't going to be using these things. People who maybe went directly to chat GPT, things like that. And they came up with the credit system which was just rolled out and is still being rolled out to some people. So now instead of words here, you will actually see credits. So what does all of this tie into? Well, this credit is what allows them to roll out the features like the chat, and like the plugins without having to raise prices. And it also opens the door up to all of the other features, such as new models. So if we come down here, we see we've got balanced added. This is GPT-4 Turbo. So now we have GPT-4, Claude 2, GPT-4 Turbo, GPT-3.5, and Weaver. And then we have Goliath, Erebors, and Mythomax down here being tested out. I'm not in the testing link, so let me see if I can show you. Yep. So another thing is we can now choose some models once you get rolled out to credits and everything, we can test the models here for our write feature so you can now pick what you want to use for auto write and guided write. And as I mentioned, you have only seen half of it. So we still have rewrite 2.0 coming out where when we go to click something to rewrite it, we have those options here, but there's gonna be some more prompts. There's gonna be ways for us to save customized prompts. There's gonna be ways for us to share our prompts with each other. It will also do more than 300 words. So as of right now, when you highlight the 300 words and try to do anything more, it's not going to let you rewrite anything. You will be able to do that with Rewrite 2.0. Other plans include when you use Rewrite, Describe, you will be able to choose your model like you do here with the right settings. 
And yet another thing is the much requested increase in the box sizes. So as of right now, our character box is limited to 700 words. You kind of got to make that work for things. Your outline is 1700 words, all of that. So with the credits release, it allows them to up these boxes to make them bigger for us. Again, whereas before they had to really watch the word count to keep prizes reasonable for everybody with the credits. That's no longer a factor because it will take into account your input, your output, and the model that you're using, which kind of balances everything out, especially if you like to use the cheaper models and all of that. Other features that have been talked about, if you're like me, you don't really care for the synopsis box. 800 words, it pulls from a 2,000 word box, and I just find it's very lacking. I've always thought that. Now here recently, I have a great workaround for that. But synopsis has just never been a box that I liked. I've hated it for, since day one. One of the features they're talking about is that we will now be able to decide where outline pulls from. So as of right now, synopsis is here for outline. So it's generated from the brain dump, but it's there for outline to pull from. In the future, we will be able to tell outline to pull from brain dump or whatever we wanted it to do instead of from directly from synopsis like it's default to do right now. When I say in the future, there's no telling how much farther in the future, y'all. Right now, they're still working on getting everybody rolled over to credits, getting plugins out to everybody, and getting all of that set up. And then there's still some little bugs that they need to work out. For instance, the first draft bug I keep bugging them about. And then they need to work on getting Rewrite 2.0 out. So there are so many more features coming. I'm looking forward to y'all having access to the chat feature. I have asked them to link it back up to Story Bible, have access open to us again so we can get that out to everyone. And I really think if y'all play around with it, you're going to be happy with it. I know it's overwhelming. That's what you have the Discord for. I'm over here, if you've been in Slack, you know that it used to say Slack, but now you can come over here, join the Discord, and ask your questions just the same as you would in Slack. And of course, don't forget, you have the live classes that you can actually enroll for. So I'm actually teaching one today and the next two days, the 101s, 201s, and 301s. Today's class will be writing outside of Story Bible. So we'll be using auto write and guided write features. Tomorrow's class, the 201, will be on using Story Bible. So creating the story in there. And then 301, of course, manipulating and refining the outputs for everything. So all of these are at your disposal. They're free. You can register for as many as you want. Take them repeatedly if you'd like. Many people do. And this allows you to kind of stay on top of the AI changes, let you know new prompting and things that we found, new tips and tricks. I highly recommend it, and especially with the different teachers. So I teach one way. Miss Lynn teaches another way. John Creason teaches a different way. Participating in each of our classes will just help you decide whose method you really like, who fits best into your workflow, and help you get everything nailed down much faster when you're using Pseudorect. All right, everyone. Well, I hope this cleared up some things. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I try to respond to all of them in a timely fashion. So if you need me to explain on anything, I'm happy to do that. Until then, I will see y'all next time. Bye, everyone.